Ladies and gentlemen, I have something for Easy Tether, a device that resets Easy Tether. So check this out. This is what I'm talking about. So as you know, I run my cell phone through Easy Tether Pro and through uh, GLINet, whatever you call them, right? I have the GLINet, the newest one, the 300. So check this out. The problem uh, you have with these is I don't know if it's the firmware or what it is but check this out see it connected itself so what I have here is um, pretty much trying to explain when you use easy tether to tether to your phone's data through your phone's data to the GLI net um, every I don't know five six eight hours it loses connection and I try writing the software to reset the connection but what it wants I don't know if it's the Android that's what I was saying I don't know if it's with the Android version or what but it wants you to unplug it and plug it back in it doesn't matter if you write the code to reset the easy tether in the software and the router it doesn't doesn't want to do that so what I came up with check this out hold on so I got this thing right here look look you see it says connected you see connected and I have this uh, um, a relay timer relay so look just out it's connected bam it disconnected it right it disconnected it for 22 seconds and now check this out I'm gonna show you all of it together check this out so 13 seconds 12 seconds and it's gonna reset so it's like it would be like you plugging it out and plugging it in. I don't want to do this every time, even though if I'm remotely camping somewhere or something out of a different state. Check this out. Bam! And it's connected. See? And it's counting 57, 55. But you can set this. Uh, why I did it for so short, so I can show you that uh, you can use the relay to disconnect, disconnect the wire and connect it back in. So that's a little hack. But, but... You can set this not for uh, 30 seconds. You can set this for uh, hours. So what I'm going to do right now is check this out. Is I'm going to set this. See, it's counting like this. So I'm going to set this for, let's see. I know all three of them mean 60 hours. I'm not going to do 60 hours. Uh, actually, six hours. Uh, let's do every five hours. So it's gonna stay on for five. Oh no, no, no. it's gonna stay on for five hours. Let's do five hours. Set, and then uh, reset. Twenty-five seconds. So it's gonna uh, close it out. Uh, Twenty-five seconds, and then close it in. Close. Okay. Perfect. Loop. So you can loop it as many times as you want. See, you can pick one time loop, but I want unlimited loop and I want it to be working all the time. And set it. And check this out. See, it just connected it. Now it connected it. I'm not going to show you my password, but look, it's connected. So in five hour time, it's just going to reset itself. It's going to disconnect and connect. And there you go. Because I tried writing a call. Like I said, I... I tried writing the code, I wrote the code into the uh, terminal to reset it, it does reset it, but it, for some reason, I don't know if it's, like I said, I don't know if it's the new know if it's the new thing with the Android phones, but the easy tether on the new, new phones, it wants you to unplug it and plug it in, and for me not to do that, I just run this, and that's it, and um, this thing's calls is, um, this is how it looks. But it's called a timer relay, 5 volt. So it's just running off one system. And yeah, subscribe, hopefully it helped you. Because, I mean, when I'm home, I plug it in, plug it out, no problem. But it gets annoying. Why would I want to do that? If I leave on the trip somewhere or go somewhere, my cameras, everything, system's running on this. So if it resets for 20 seconds itself, perfect, you know? So yeah, like and subscribe.